All right, we should be streaming. Should be. Yeah, should be. Luckily, you're up. Oh, am I? Yeah. Didn't even know we were in the middle of a game. Okay. This light light was on. Just fire for no reason at all. Don't do that. That was really weird. Sorry, I broke it. What? I flipped 
wrong and I forgot to do the slappy thing. Oh yeah, the slappy thing. But I did not slap and I did not save. <laughs> Imagine a consistent 60 FPS. drop jackets at all. That's interesting. <laughs> How do you do that? I, I, I don't I I don't know. I wonder if the upper drop targets no, because I've only done one bank. And the light bonus light light is not on. I'm not entirely sure what's happened there. If only we had a stream we could go back and look at things on. I know. It's almost as though a uh, visual representation of what was going on would be really good. Yeah. Boop. So I think I got the 5x not. <laughs> Not. I want to say I got it by hitting send. <laughs> I really hope that's not how it happened. Yeah, sorry. is watching the stream and deep root simultaneously.
You need have bone. Also, is the player kind of looking at us at all? Looking at half your face. At half your face. talking in text or talking in uh, audio since Ron has, and I mean a lot of people are apparently watching us during the Deep Root Seminar. <coughs> Thank you. 
custom ROM. We've been working on altering the bonus. Typically, the 5x bonus is only accessible ball three, right? Well, the last ball. Yeah, but you made it accessible any ball. Yes, through skill. Probably is my. Um, well, probably doesn't help that I have Audacity open. Any other ideas on what we can try to fix that? Why can't he hear us? Why can't he hear us? This is deep room. That's too bad. That's not what we're going for. And I'm too far in my stars. You better not hit that. Yeah, it's getting worse too. It doesn't seem to correspond to rendering lag though. advanced so apparently you did. It might have just been a uh, switch issue though. Thank you. 
It's not because of Wi-Fi, because you still got it at Ron's. Yeah. Not the deeper it is, just basically. As expected. That's where my thing went. doesn't want 13 credits on Dracula, it's too unlucky. Don't brick. There you go. Thanks for the instructions. You're very welcome. some things. So Zach, is that an accurate thing of the old ROM? Check my work. No. A 
I'll fix it. You're up. Yeah, I'll, I'll space it out properly. You're up. It's fine. It's fine. Sp okay. This space for rent. Sponsor of the Vip Type Podcast. The first all female Vip Type Podcast in the world. Uh, technically, I think that was Mrs. Penn. No, she has a husband, though. Uh, that's okay. Yeah. I think that's, you know, counts as not all female. Yeah. Yes. We'll eventually have people of other genders on them. I consider Dr. Pin Beyond like a co host. Oh my. Just a setting in the advanced settings of OBS. Oh. I don't know which one did it though, because I did them both at once. Okay. So Might uh, have been both. I've been trying to watch, but I keep forgetting. Is Tim Balls about to do any panels yet? The Tim panel? Tim Penny. <laughs> those are people yeah, on the Tim Penny. Yes. Okay, I'm glad we were thinking of the same joke. You got it to you got to it before I did. That's scary. <laughs> Ron says Saturday. So Saturday we're gonna get to Tim Bits. of my own podcast logo. What did I do with it? Oh, a doot poot panel. Is that what we're watching? No, no, no. Deep Root is what they're watching. Deadpool. Oh. The other doot poot. <laughs> I managed to connect, click my max bonus with one shot left for double and quintuple. Oh, naturally. And I collected my minimum bonus again. Only double lit in that Ooh, range. Great. Yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a good score. 100,000 points left on the table. Is that the highest so far? No. No. No, 700 was. Why isn't it showing the highest score? It will. Five ninety nine. Ooh, so close it's so far. Yeah, if I hit that shot. Yeah. Then uh yeah. That shot was the difference. But no. 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 I'm gonna go back and try and get XYZ spilled. Because we still have not managed to bite an XYZ special. That's really bothering you, isn't it? Yeah. It should be like the easiest thing in the world. Yes. Here we are. Doop doop. I'm not sure if I like these rule changes still. Really? It, well, it feels like half the time you're gonna, by the time you get one 2x, you already have the other one almost ready and you get 5x almost immediately. True. 
I'm also wondering if, like, when you get two X, should it reset your progress on the other one? Um, yeah, so go back to the first loop, or uh, at least turn off the light double bonus light light. The light double bonus light. Uh, if not, reset the drops. Resetting the drops would be a bit weird. So you can at least have some strategy of, like, having two drops down before you get your third loop. Actually, I guess what would be optimal is, like, if after you got double bonus, at least if you fucked up both of them, and you would do both again for 5x. Do you think you can do that with the space given? No. One says 5x on any ball is more score rollovers. Yeah, we got so many score rollovers so far. So many. Oh. I got one letter so far. Do. Why did you do? Do, do. Do, 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 do. do. Yep, yeah, part of it to me, it feels like 5x is too easy to get considering how much it's worth. On the other hand, like, we've still been getting the left out lane special lit more often than we get the 5x lit. Yeah. But, like, the 5x feels like more because it takes so long to count down. That's new. What? I somehow went backwards around the orbit. Huh. Zero letters. I feel like eventually when I hopefully make a completely custom round for this, then uh, I'll try to code it so that Promise. Slot carries over the ball to ball towards the five x two. That might work. You know, like either at least like remember if you have the like, light double bonus light light lit. Uh, and if you do like carry that over, which would mean that having to do both of them again for five x wouldn't be as bad. I don't know if you want to remember the stars as well. Don't be bummed on it. It was probably stuff you already knew. He had to explain to me what a nibble was. What's a nibble? Half a... Bite? Bit. Bite. Bite. It is Eight. half a bite. Yes. There's four bits in a nibble. There's two nibbles in a bite. So, bit, nibble, bite. Okay. Uh-huh. Then there's a word, which is two bites. For some reason, they ran out of, like... They couldn't call it like a chomp or something. Or a munch? Or a nom? Yeah, and then after that's like... I don't even know what's after a word. <laughs> Sentence? There's no word for that anymore. <laughs> a phrase. A poem. We should have streamed the programming lesson. That would have been good. That would have been awesome. Oh, we don't think ahead at all, do we? We don't. Oh. <laughs> So, Bonnie, you got any changes you want made to stars? We could stream that. This is just jump crush, right? The only other MPU 100 game worth modifying. Alright, I'm aiming for the Y. Alright, I put the X 
three times now. Mm -hmm. It's too bad though, because I want to take the water. Four times. There we go. It's like, ah! Doing the lazy man's way of doing this. Because I don't know where the actual thing is. What's broken? Mm. I don't think that I can add any new logic to the existing ROMs it's like, unless I find another batch of free space. Because luckily I found 23 bytes of probably free space in the existing ROM, and I needed 22 for my 2x to 5x logic. Probably. I, I just love the probably. I mean, nothing's happened yet. We haven't gone to test mode or anything, though. It could still break. That's fair. Man, these townspeople walked from a really long distance away to get to this house with an epic gate in the middle of nowhere. What? Oh, yeah. Like the road just goes off into the distance. It's some giant empty plane. Oh, yeah. They're really mad at Dracula. They are really mad. The funny thing is, I just listened, um, there's a podcast I listen to called Fictional. It's basically the guy does retellings of classic fiction, and he did Dracula. And that is 100% not how it happened. It's actually kind of weird how it happened. Um, also, he's an old man, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I mean, this could have also happened, just not in the book. Well, that's young Dracula, it's like young Pope. That's but, uh, true, it could have happened way before the events of Van Helsing. By the way, Van Helsing, they literally, he has so many, like, credentials, you know, PhD, MD, da da da. But the book actually says, etc. <laughs> and he's also ripped as hell. He's like, this guy is redonkulous. He's so OP. Takes OP to kill a Dracula. I guess, yeah. How's that for a shameless plug of a thing I'm editing? Well, was editing before I started streaming this. Um... <laughs> says yes stars is perfect chewing up too much data and wi-fi sucks here have fun guys looking forward to riptide yes
to the Lord. I'm glad you played. I know. He's pretty good at that. So I'm also not done. I'm, I'm like getting like lost in thought. Like, hmm, should I be going for the XYZ? Pricing on the Monster Bash remake has been announced. Oh yeah? Yeah. What's the pricing on the Monster Bash remake? Well, the, uh, the base version is $6,000. Okay. The next is $7,300 and the LE is $8,000. That's comparable to Stern, right? Uh, I think it's like a tiny bit more than Stern. The sucks. Um, you'd really hope for less than Stern. But I guess that's got a bigger problem, probably. Just a monster bash at about 50k less than the monster bash usually costs. If I had left it out, it's been at least two hours, so go for it. Do you want to show the stream this fudge? Both sides, and we disagree. 
Oh my god. Anyway. Show off the full fudge factor. Here's the fudge. Where's the fudge? Here. There's the fudge. I'd say eat your heart out, Ron, but he left. Aw, poor Ron. Poor Ron doesn't get to salivate over fudge you can't have. Take the fudge. I need a fudge flipper button. Like, uh. Like Oktoberfest? Yeah. Accessibility feature. I mean, you're not wrong. But it costs a whole extra like two dollars. Yes, a custom ROM that uh, Zach just whipped up out of not out of nowhere. It was fairly simple. It took him like what, less than an hour total? Probably more like two. Okay. Part of that was just figuring out how to even use the emulator. Yeah. And I mean, part of the reason it took so long was because you were showing me what you were doing. And um, hi, Elton and Willie. What part of the world are you guys in? We are in. Um, Eastern Standard Time, New York. I mean, the fact they had you there to rub your duck on, but might have made it actually look faster for we know. Oh, what, to help? What? What, I helped? Well, yeah, I got to explain everything to you as I did it, which made it work better in my mind. Oh, you should keep doing that. I feel this fudge is very, very slightly salty. Fudge is salty? Uh, maybe? Yes. Um, because I added salt. It said to use kosher salt. Which do I have? You do? Yeah. Where? In the back of the tall cabinet you can't reach and see into. That cabinet? The one above the sink with all the spices. In the back there's kosher Damn salt. Damn it, because I was looking in that cabinet. I got on the counter for that. I risked my... Damn it! That's why it's probably a little salty, because I used iodized salt instead. And I tried to account for it, but we all know so how I am with eyeballing is, things. Kosher salt is less salty than iodized salt? Kosher salt is bigger grains, because it was meant for desiccating meat to as part of the koshering process. Hmm. So, so because the, the crystals are bigger, half a teaspoon of kosher salt is going to be less actual salt. So does the salt dissolve, or, or does the fact that there's a different surface area matter, too? Um, the different surface area might have to do with it as well. I actually don't know the science of fudge. Guess I know what I'm doing tonight. Everyone 
else in the world. That's fine. Wow, that Just goes so great with everything. I can't believe I agree with you, but I agree with you. One-handed fail. Fudge button. We really do need a fudge button. Can you program that in somehow? No. Just rewire it casually. Yeah, I could. But how would we mount the button? Like an external panel? I don't know. So here's a question. What should happen after you complete the upper drops twice? Um, well, three times. You get kosher salt. Because the second time, it lights the special. So what's the third time do? 5x bonus. Actually, I guess that's another thing. We could mod the extra ball to be points. I'm sorry? We could try to mod the extra ball to be points. Yeah, then we can turn it on that way, like after the first four. After the first bank upper drops, or like the extra ball for, like, say, 25,000 or something. 
We need to figure out how the scoring works. But. We need to fi figure out how the extra ball works. I just realized I haven't even noticed the extra ball. Well, it's because it never turns on. Why not? Because it's disabled because we don't want extra balls. It take too long. Well, how can we tell if it's disabled? Well, we have to enable it. Actually, no. Not necessarily true. Really? Extra ball lane. Extra ball lane lights up after spotting four cats. Yeah. So basically, the one drop target. Really? That's it? It would if it wasn't disabled. That's it? That's all that it takes? Yeah, I know. That's the problem. It's way too easy to do. All right, maybe after we uh, put out a credits, we can go try to do that. All right. Like you're getting that special fun. One. One special. That's it? That's it? Only one special? I'm disappointed in you, Zach. These weird lanes are amazingly hard to shat. They are, aren't they? Not that I'm like a particularly good alley pass person, but. Right. Almost triple my score. Targets on the right side of the play field. Three stand ups that Zach just blew past. Um, lit, what, completing them twice lights Y for the 7,000? Yes. Wow, nice spinner rip. Yeah, this spinner is uh, 
finicky. It doesn't like to be hit, but when you hit it, it's quite satisfying because it's the stern. And did you guys do the um, lube? Yes. Of course it's lube. Um, yeah. So it's been given a special slam tilt treatment. We have sand the edges of the spinner. And we didn't do that, but we should have. You didn't do that? I thought you had to do that. No. We forgot. Wow. So you at least dip them in the Teflon lube. Or yeah. Super lube, which is probably Teflon. Is it Teflon? Does it matter? It's, oh, no, it's a uh, silicone graphite gel. Okay. Just the way that it bumped up. I was so close to catching it. Right there. Right there. What lube do you guys use? I have some spinners that need tension. Um, it's uh. Oh, I can't find it. It's in your toolbox. Yeah. Step is on the case. Toolboxes upstairs. So we got here some super lube, multi-purpose synthetic grease with Sincolon. Here. I don't know if that's something you can see. I guess I can try it from this angle. That's what we use. Or at least what he uses. Uh, I don't have any lube yet because I don't... I actually don't know if CO2 spinners have been... Mm. And you only need a drop of that stuff, right? Like, that's like the take what, a toothpick, apply gently. What I do is I just stick the uh, ends of the spinner down into the hole on the cap. Into this hole. Okay. Just dip it. Yep. Or uh, Ron did it with uh, toothpicks. Yeah, because Ron uses some kind of Teflon move. No, he used the same thing, I think. Oh. Super lube. Everyone keeps thinking of Teflon lube. I'm wondering who uses it that it's like so ingrained in my mind. Well, I, th I mean, I thought this was Teflon, so. Maybe that's why. Not 
not the tip, but the the ends. Wh whatever rubs on the bracket, I uh, will hit with some like five or six hundred bit sandpaper. Get it nice and shiny again. Don't do this on a grinder though, or you'll grind your spinner out. You've done this, haven't you? Yes. Not one of my uh, smarter moments. And I destroyed a perfectly good meteor spinner. Oh no! So I bought another one. So that's nice anyway. Not a problem, Max Bauer. Grinder for a spinner. He's just like, lol. Like, literally, just like, lol. Credits. So you, what do. you know what that means. Time to edit the. Uh... Sure. Or do you want to play more? No, let's edit. All right. All right. We're probably gonna switch over to my Twitter's channel. Twitch. Twitch. Yeah. Tit Twitch channel. Which is would have been linked in the comments, except I put a com comment instead of a space. <laughs> Z A C A J. There we go. Uh, which is probably an auto host. So if you just sit around here in a few minutes, it'll come up. Yeah, it's definitely on auto host. Because I'm sure you all want to see some ROM hacking in action. I do. That's one person. Okay. <laughs> see ya on the other side.